So this shear is about 15 meters wide, give or take, but this is mainly where your iron stained rock is concentrated. It's all deteriorated. There's more over here. We're taking a sample from here where it's a little bit less gossiness, but we took a sample from there already. We're going to go and pan it down at the creek, um, and then we're going to take some rock samples from here as well. So this is the pan we got to work with today, the water we got to work with. We're going to do a couple pans here from uh, a couple different areas of that shear. We're going to see if there's any sulfides in there, any gold. Not expecting much, but let's pan it anyway. So we're going to have to do a little bit smaller pans because of the uh, little water we have to work with. bigger stuff here. Definitely some sulfides in there. So we got about a half a cup of black sands in here, which is looking like magnetite. We got some pyrite and a little bit of calcopyrite in there. And uh, we panned some of those off. I'm not seeing too much. I don't really see any gold, but it could be pretty microscopic. We're on the second pan here. We grabbed a third sample, so we'll pan that one out as well. There's a ton of black sand in here.
So that last sample wasn't too promising either. You do have some sulfides. Magnetite, pyrite, and minor calcopyrite. Just not seeing any gold. So again, don't see any gold. There might be some microfine stuff in there, but yeah, maybe a little bit right there, but nothing crazy. We're gonna keep this anyway, cause we're gonna have this tested. Could just be really fine. A lot of heavies in here. All right. These are a couple of the samples that we're pulling from this shear here. You see granitic rock there. You got magnetite, pyrite, and very fine disseminated calcopyrite. Anyway, that's the video. Hope you guys enjoyed. And while I've been working, he's been working hard at getting this boulder to fall down for some reason. I guess there's something satisfying about having a boulder fall out of the wall.